um, the the way he um, raised his hand and he thought he's in the classroom. Hey, okay, well, what the fuck is happening? You can check out my Patreon for exclusive show reactions, uncut reactions, early access, and other perks. Link is in the description. I'm pissed. It's been like a day or two and I'm still pissed about the Armin situation and about the whole situation. But, you know, that's what makes this show great, I guess. It just, you never know what the heck is gonna happen. Like, Armin? Erwin? Who's next? Freaking Aaron? Like, come on, like, oh, let's kill the main character, you know? I wouldn't be surprised, bro. <laughs> Shit. Anyways, last episode, Armin got turned into a crisp. Erwin is somewhere bleeding out. Reiner and Berthold are captured. They got pulled out of their Titan. Armin sacrificed himself so Aaron could get Berthold. He sacrificed his dream. Now, we still have this arranged, so things are a little bit unclear right now. Levi mentioned he wants to use it on Erwin. I do believe that Armin is like dead dead. Like I said last episode, his vitals are gone because like, look at him. He was a piece of coal. He like, ah, it's... Mm. So what needs to happen now is they need to find Erwin quick and they need to hit him with the syringe and then feed either Reiner or Beltholt to him because the Beast Titan is gone. Levi wanted to feed the Beast Titan to um, Erwin, but you know, he's gone. He got picked up and rescued. So two other options. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm, I don't know. I, I, uh, bleh, bleh. Okay. <laughs> I just want to point out Armin, right? He didn't just sacrifice himself. He did it in a brutal way. It wasn't like jumping on a blade or jumping in front of a bullet. He burned to death by steam. He was steamed to death. Hot steam killed a man. Imagine the pain to just be able to stay there and not like freaking want to get away. It's insane what these people are doing right now. First, the recruits are charging into death. Now one is freaking burning to death by choice to, to enable Aaron to get Berthold. It's insane. Like, what kind of breed are these people, the scouts? Like, who? Like, God. Anyways, I want to watch this next episode. I'm excited for it. It's a little late, so I can't be loud which if something crazy happens i'm gonna wake everybody up it is what it is screw it like maybe, let's hope maybe this is a calm episode <laughs> and everybody can sleep <laughs> but if it's not i don't know you know it is what it is attack on titan is gonna do what attack on titan is gonna do it's not my fault it's, i can't <laughs> anyways as always like subscribe patreon discord links are down below and let's go just seeing him, I don't want to see it anymore, bro. Yeah, he didn't do what he said he would do. He stayed. At the end of the day, he was a hero. Shit, those eyes, bro. What the hell? Don't let him get him. Oh. Ugh. Oh, yeah, he doesn't know yet. Yep. How does he- Oh, Reiner and Berthold told him. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Huh? Oh. Yeah, he's not done with you. Hell yeah, he did. Yeah. Hey, Levi, we good, right? A draw? A draw? Delusional ass? Huh? <gasps> <laughs> Bro, he said, Bear told that, eh, you know, uh, that's, that's that. You know, I gotta go. I gotta go. That's the Levi effect. He saw Levi, he's like, whoa, nope. Bear told, nice knowing ya. Goodbye. <laughs> Bro, that's messed up. Saving Aaron? What? Whatever, bro. I mean, that's some information we just got, or just some something weirds going on there, definitely. Go, 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 go. <gasps> He's alive. Wait. Midnight Sun. Bro, he must be in 
agony, the pain, or maybe he's in shock. He won't feel shit. Oh damn, Reiner, you got fucked up. Oh well, damn. It's probably like poison, so he won't give away information. Or a letter to who? From who? Well, we definitely have to read that one. Oh, damn. Oh, she's not even gonna question him. She's gonna end him right here. Yeah, he's not gonna talk. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Oi, 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 Hanji. I mean, yeah, she's right, but damn. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. They're talking about あ、ノー、アイシーウィルディスイズゴイングブロー。デアオンビカズリヴァイセッドヒズゴイントゥギブイトゥエルヴィンエンドナウアーメンイズアライブ。そうユニードトゥビアライブサムハウ。ダスワ
Yeah, like bullshit lucky. You too. What are you talking about? Yeah, like you were lucky as hell. Like you had a sword in your mouth. You were lucky as hell. That freaking quadrilateral quad- titan. Not only can titan powers and much needed information be stolen by using the injection, but it also allows the revival of someone who is critically wounded. The ideal candidate will be someone near death that is already close to an incapacitated enemy with titan powers. And there they are, both of them. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I mean, we've heard Levi say what he wants to do. I don't know what's right or wrong. <laughs> Yeah, but this is their childhood friend. They can't be objective. That's easier said than done. That's his best friend right there. Okay, so he was thinking about finding Erwin. Erwin. Oh my, if that recruit would have. Oh! Yeah, you can't even stop him. Let's, let's calm down. Not, don't kill each other. Oh. Oh, so they could. I was gonna say they can't take it by physical force, but he's in a weakened state. Bro, just shut up. You're gonna get killed. But you did do a good thing. I'm not blaming him for bringing back a wounded commander. It, it, I'm not blaming him. Because of Armin. Because of Armin's sacrifice. Yep. Damn. It's true, but... Uh, at this... Uh, bro, I don't know, man. You know, he's been part of a death march now. I say he gets to talk. I mean, you've guys still been through a lot more, but he, he gets a, an opinion now. I think he's earned it. I'll never get over that, bro. Ooh, I hope not, bro. I hope they felt proud, but most likely, yeah. Fear. Fuck. Oh, mercy kill? What? Damn. Okay. Hell being this world. Oh, he saw Levi and he probably thought of the syringe, yeah. And that's why he didn't kill him. Hanji, bro, this is such a messed up situation. Okay, I'm gonna talk about it one time real quick. I could talk about this 30 minutes and debate, but I'm gonna keep it short. I'm not even gonna get involved in this. I'm not gonna debate who's... I'm not. That's, that's y'all. That's y'all. Let's start with Armin. On the one hand, you've got Armin. Aaron is right. He did have all these ideas. He was making... He's a big part. Aaron gave him all the trust to lead people, to make these decisions. He was... In, in most battles, these last battles, he was an important factor. And especially in this one, he took down the Colossal Titan. He found them hiding in the wall. Big, big things. And he is as smart, if not even smarter than Aaron, in a, in a way of making plans. I don't know if that's true. Maybe not. But they can't think objectively about it bro if that were my best friend i i couldn't bro i i'd have to do it i'd have to do everything to save him just out of loyalty out of i i, I couldn't i couldn't but objectively on the other side you have Aaron, commander of the scouts he has the traits armin has he's also good at making plans but he has leadership and that's a biggie armin does not have that leadership now you could say he could learn that quality but it, i think it's something you're born with or you're not to be a leader Aaron can rile up soldiers he keeps people together like you, you saw what he did armin could have never led these people in a suicide charge to accomplish almost getting the beast titan that's a big difference and to be a leader you need these qualities it's not enough to be smart and Aaron is smart maybe not as smart as armin i don't know it's debatable he's smart enough and has the leadership qualities that being said armin is their best friend so they're not gonna think of it like uh, they're not gonna do pros and cons you you can't do pros and cons on lives like that you they need to but it's it's not gonna happen bro i don't know what's right i i, I don't know <laughs> 
Hanji is on the same side as Levi. He could, but... Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're, they're gonna say the same shit. I just need to shut up. Mmm, yeah. Oh, wait. That's the guy that's always with her. Moblit. I wasn't even thinking about him. That's what happened. He's been by her side every time. I remember him grabbing the arm of the military police. Bro, this is so messed up, man. Why did they have to do this? Just they, they killed Armin and now they just kill him again in a different way. Just hit you two times. Yes, okay, it's nice to see that Erwin is going to, you know, come back. But at the same time, you just killed Armin twice. Emotional damage! He's gonna tell him about Armin's dream. I feel bad for Levi as well. Making, having to make this decision. Hey, come on, let him talk. Let him at least say his piece. Damn, the only thoughts in my head are full of hate. That's deep. He's made up his mind, bro. Why do they have to do this, man? They just make it extra pro poor Aaron, man. Imagine that's what you see the last time your friend laying there. If they're gonna kill Armin, they could have let him sacrifice himself and then save Aaron. But no, they really gotta fucking mess with you and like, oh, you know what? Armin's actually alive. You know, they could save him. Guess what? Not gonna happen. This is freaking emotional. They know how to get you going, man, this show. See, everybody has dreams, not only Armin, yeah. They all have fucking dreams, bro. <laughs> Kenny's words, I remember, yeah. Everybody needs something. Ervin was a slave to the truth. Did he... he doesn't want it? He's raising his hand in class. He's in delusion. Bro, what the fuck, man? Bro, I thought he was knocking it away. He, th he thinks he's in class, bro. Oh my fucking god. Is he gonna take this as a sign to not do it? Yeah, and he's gonna give it to Armin. That's Armin. Yeah, that's definitely Armin. <laughs> Oh my god, Berthold. Yeah, he's done. Hey, what? Nah, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? It, it's, it sucks, but you chose this way. Oh! I was confused for a second because they both have blonde hair, but it's Armin's longer hair. But that means Armin's done for. I guess, bro. So Armin's the colossal titan now is something positive, I guess. Is he dead? Bro, the way he um, the way he raised his hand and he thought it was a nigga. What the fuck? Um, the, f the the way he um raised his hand and he thought he's in the classroom. Hey, okay, well, what the fuck is happening? The way he um, raised his hand and thought he was in the classroom because it represents the start of his journey and um, he, it's it's the moment he got curious and all of this started for him and that's where he went back to, you know, the first question he asked and that's where his thirst for the truth started and that's what he thought of and he raised his hand. It's freaking this show, bro.
Yeah, I want to touch on um, him raising his hand and asking the same question he asked the teacher. It's just, it, it's beautiful because it, it, it's the end of his journey. And that question kind of started his journey, like I said, his curiosity. At the end, he did the same motion he did when everything started. Obviously, that's not when he was born, you know, that's when his real journey started. But you know what I mean? I'm not going to say much more. We'll talk about it more. But Levi and Hanji lost a friend today not only a commander a lot of people lost a friend but you know i think Levi and hanji are closest to him and yeah they didn't just lose a commander they lost a friend humanity lost one of their greatest assets the scouts lost their commander and you know a lot of losses levi made a decision he's going to have to live with that decision i'm not saying it's right or wrong i'm just saying whatever happens he's going to have to live with that decision and i'm sure there might come days where he doubts when, you know, days where he wants Erwin, where he needs Erwin by his side, you know, where he's like probably gonna think back, like what would Erwin do? And then he'll, you know, think about, did I make the right decision? I don't know. Um, Armin is a smart guy. I'm happy that Armin's back. I'm glad, but it's kind of like bittersweet. Obviously, you know why one has to go so the other one can live basically. And yeah, it's bitter, bittersweet. Another huge death, uh, Berthold's, kind of got like almost overshadowed by Erwin's death, at least for me. Like, I'm not saying that I, I don't care about that. It is a huge deal that Berthold died because he was the colossal titan. He was a big part of the show. He, yeah, he was there from, from almost day one. I'm not necessarily sad about it. I'm not necessarily happy about it either. Um, he made his choice and he, he knew what he wanted. At the end, you know, he was clear minded. He said, this is what I'm going to do. And he acted upon that. And so he died doing what he believed in, fighting for what he believed in. And yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be joyful. Like, yeah, Berto's dead. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, maybe I should be, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel that way like but i'm also not yeah it, it, it is what it is basically you know that's that's what it is like look how many they killed from the scouts it's insane like these are the only people alive everybody else is dead is whatever it's crazy i have mm -hmm. Armin has the colossal titan powers now. He also has Berthold. Berthold's memories, right? I think he uh, he gets his memories, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting what he finds out. Um, also, a really good power to have. Obviously, the colossal titan power. It's crazy. I can't even wrap my head around it yet because I'm still like on freaking Erwin dying. I fucking can't. I can't freaking talk, bro. I'm gonna just cut it here. Um, um, yeah, I'm gonna just cut it here, bro.